when a woman screams, you know something is wrong. And as I said in, 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 in the message, it puts men on the back foot. That's how the Almighty God designed it. The reality is it's been coming up, not just with that incident, but it's been seeing a lot of abuse of women that just seem to be on the, well, I wouldn't say on the increase because it has been a problem in our nation for, for years at all levels of the society where women are being beaten, but it's also where they are being raped, when they are being molested, when they are unfairly and unjustly treated and in, even in the workplace, that women must know this is a way to deal with it. You see, don't just sit and sup it. And when a society understands that, then when a woman screams, you know something is wrong. And as I said in, in, in the message, it puts men on the back foot. That's how the Almighty God designed it. Because men don't always do what they ought. And so therefore they will take advantage, they will hurt. Then it is important that our women must know they have a defense mechanism. And it's first this issue of the scream. It is the wisdom of God in his creation of women. But don't you think we need to go much further in terms of legislation? Uh, well, absolutely. You know, I, I need to, look, I'm not going to talk with authority to mm. look back at what the laws are on the books, but I do think there are some laws on the books is whether we're enforcing, mm. is whether we're bringing it and pressing it. Because, yes, because some of that, is, is, it has to be beyond legislation because you can't legislate to solve all of the issues, a lot of it has to go back to the values of a people and the values to which they are committed. And this is why it is important we must be teaching our men what it is to be a man, you see, and to teach our women how to respond to men, how to deal with men in a, you know, a wholesome way. So education is really going to be the greatest tool that we have to use in this fight. We must do it because when it comes to the men, why does a man would beat beating women brutally? Because he has no personal discipline and self-control. He's, he has, he's having anger issues. He's not able to manage his anger. And if this is not taught from family in childhood and curb, then we're going to get angry men. And angry men will become abusers. And not only of women, but this is why we are seeing a lot of the crime that is happening in the country, why we're having the, the gang warfare. It is men who have an inability to handle conflict, to manage their emotions, to manage their differences, and to deal with it objectively because they have no self-control. And so we have to work at it from all angles. As it relates to the abuse of our women, I believe that as men and as parliamentarians, we haven't gone far enough because we, we need to keep at it because we, we need our women. I mean, we need everybody, but Jamaica seems to be this, this violent place. And, um, you know, violence against women is even worse because we can't do it without them. You know, my, my mother, for example, she's 89 years old. And I wouldn't be here if it wasn't because of my mother. So if we keep abusing our women and killing them, I guess we will have fewer boys and men and fewer people that are born. So as parliamentarians in the highest seat of, of, of the, the country and, and you want to call it the highest court, we really need to push and we need to push ourselves to be better people and better men and we need to do better. And I'm not sure it's just about legislation, but it's, I think it's, it's more action and to be very assertive and do what we can, you know, to, to protect and help our women. The motion that was denied, are you likely to retable it? Well, I, I will support and suggest that and, and ask the, the leader, both the house leader on our side, to keep pushing because if you get pushed back, you can't just stay back, you still have to push because if you believe it's the right thing to do, even though you have been shut down, you have to push forward because it's the right thing and the, the country expects us to do the right thing and the country is looking at us to be their voice and to speak for them and to just do the right thing. So yes, I would support us retabling it and keep pushing. 
why I can't speak to this particular case to what I seem to pick up there is that there is no certainty as to what has happened okay. and we have to be careful because people's reputations are important and if there is not conclusive evidence then we have to be careful what we say so from that angle there is not too much I want to speak to it because I don't know the truth of the city or the facts of the situation but however the principle of it is what need to be addressed and what Parliament must address and we must not be simply trying to throw stones at each other because this is an issue where if you're not careful some of those who many who speak against it but they're doing the same thing you see so it is an issue that we all we have to look at as a society and how do we help men to develop discipline as a counselor and a marriage counselor we deal with this kind of thing regularly up from all levels of the society that is why I say it is an issue of character it's an issue of values it is the issue of self-control and discipline and we must set up more facilities to help men with anger issues and women too because some of the behavior of women are causative factors because I win in my own training and teaching women we have to say to women be careful there are some things you cannot do because you must some fun fire you see if you treat a man a particular way you can you will get him angry and he may react in ways he ought not not to justify it but you have to be wise because you have to protect yourself so we all need teaching both to men and women how to be how to manage how to control themselves how to handle and manage conflict so that respect is maintained and not abuse as the result